Okay. That's the finished rice bowl right there. Now tell me that don't look fire. You gonna tell me that you don't wanna try that? What's good everyone? It's your boy Santo G, back at it. You already know, spreading unity, prosperity, and respect above all. So today, I got a little different video for you guys, man. If you like to eat, you're going to be happy with this one, man. Good food. Bomb. My daughter likes it. My wife likes it. Bullshit you not. This meal right here, I make it at least twice a week. No cap. I'm using the same method that I would use as far as in there making a rice bowl, as far as the same condiments. But I'm using real chicken. I'm using onion and bell pepper. And I'm using white rice. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with that. So, I know. Before you start saying, ew, and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Wait till the end of the video. And then make up your mind, you know? I'm going to do a rice bowl with chicken. Pretty much it's like a teriyaki chicken. My own version of teriyaki chicken. And this is what we call rice bowls in there. You know what I'm saying? Anybody in there, they know about the hoisin sauce. So we're using hoisin sauce. I got this Kumpal, P.F. Chang's Kumpal. And then to give it a little bit of a little peanut taste, just a couple drops of this. A little bit of soy sauce. And then a lot of people, they use soy sauce, but they don't know how to use it. If you're going to use soy sauce, you got to add a little bit of sugar. Anytime you use soy sauce, because this is sour. But if you add a little bit of sugar, it gives it a whole little unique taste. Anytime you use soy sauce, put a little bit of sugar in it, man. It's going to just, boom, it's going to blow your mind. I guarantee it, man. I guarantee it. And we got the garlic and we got a little bit of pepper that's it that's all we're using since it's chicken you already know we got to put a little bit of mustard us Mexicans you know what I mean anytime we make chicken pork chops stuff like that even though me personally I don't like mustard I'm not a mustard guy but when it comes to this recipe you need it it's crucial so yeah, that's that. We get to cutting up. We'll see right now, you know. You get the chicken, and I'm using the chicken breast, you know, thin cut chicken breast from Food for Less. Shout out Food for Less. I already rinsed it out, washed it up, you know what I mean? Pretty much just cutting it into little strips. That's that first. I do that like nothing. That's from just muscle memory right there. Get the chicken. If you guys are new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you like this video, Leave me a comment, man. You don't even got to say nothing. Throw a honey sign. Throw anything. You know what I mean? Throw a happy face. Thumbs up. But throw something in the comments. That way it can help me get into the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? I know. Because I'll be like, damn, what do, I, what do I say? You know, when I watch someone's video. But I'll like, you know what? I just started, me personally, I'll just throw like a honey sign or, or thumbs up or something, you know? You don't know what to say, just put an emoji. Shit, put a fuck you, you know what I mean? Give me a middle finger. I ain't dripping. Just help me get in the algorithm. Yeah. 
cut this chicken. Y'all just bear with me. I wanted to take advantage that I'm home and only my two sons are here, but they hardly come out the room. My wife went to her mom's house. She took the kids. She took my baby boy and my daughter, so. I wanna have some food ready when they come back. I just finished doing the forced to be in a cell with my homeboy's killer video. That's why you guys can see I'm in the same wardrobe. I just wanted to keep it going. I probably won't drop this one till like another day or two, but it's at least gonna be in the vault. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think. I learned it from, honestly, from uh, watching uh, DJ Ghost, his reaction videos. He said he'd be knocking out like five, six, seven videos a day. I'm like, that's smart because it's not every day, us, you know what I mean, with families, it's not every day that you have that play time, you know? So we're gonna start off with a little bit of garlic. And everything, I can't give you an exact measurement, but, it's just, you know what I mean? You know, you know. Damn, I don't know if I should get the phone and show you guys like this. What? But y'all could time it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could time it. So the garlic. I'm gonna do it like this in front of me. So the garlic, is just gonna be, you know, just to coat it. That's the garlic pepper as well just to coat it i know right now it's only on the top but you're gonna mix it so it's gonna get mixed up right all right so now is the kung pao just a little bit you could always add more later but right now just a little bit can't forget the mustard Got an electron in the mustard. That way I can see. Just like a couple little swirls. You know what I mean? The mustard. Now for the poison sauce. Same thing. Swirl. Now for this, the butter one. This one's the one that's only like a drop or two. You can't put too much of it. Well, I just don't like putting too much of it. It's just so you could get that little peanut taste. None too crazy, none too major. Then after that, we throw in the soy sauce. And like I said, anytime you throw soy sauce, you throw in a little bit of sugar. So now you get the sugar some sugar that's gonna balance that sour stuff and that sour taste you know so that's all the condiments right there just mix this up but before I do that let that sit there before I do that I want to cut this up so this is what I'm gonna do Transfer that to there. That's already ready to go. Now I'm gonna cut this up. Now for the onions, me personally, I like getting a real thin cut. That way it's like, I don't know, it's like a little glaze. It becomes like real tender. Just chop the onion up. Get it as thin as you can. Careful with those fingers. I know I make it look easy, but it's not that easy. Y'all gotta be careful. If you try to go fast, you're gonna chop your seat. That. 
bell pepper. Same thing for the bell pepper, because the bell pepper is going to take longer to cook than the onion. So, try to get a real thin, lay, thin cut on the bell pepper as well. You know what I'm saying? That's important. If not, it's just going to be off. You get a thin cut for the onion, the bell pepper is going to be a little raw. That onion is starting to hit my eyes. On the white rice, the one I get, I get the one that comes pre-made. I just gotta heat up. It's a Thai jasmine rice. I'll show it to you guys in a bit. Now that I got that cut as well, this is what I do to the onion and bell pepper as well. Me personally, I cook it separate because my daughter likes this. She just don't like the onion and bell pepper. I cook it separate. But to the onion and bell pepper as well, throw a little bit of soy sauce. We throw a little bit of hoisin sauce, a little bit of the Kung Pao. And then you throw a little bit of sugar, make it sweet. It's gonna have like a nice, good, sweet taste. It's gonna be soft. Mwah, delicious. Trust, delicious. Turn these around. Come on, ah, it's not mixing. Making sure it's all in there. You can hear that. Nice. The flavor is gonna be bomb. The chicken's gonna be nice and tender because it's some real thin strips. Show it to you guys. I cut it into strips. That way it cooks tender. You know what I mean? It don't take that long to cook either because of the way it's cut. fire and then the onion and bell pepper as well mix it up mix that up right there man Mwah. so now that I got the gloves off I'm about to go cook this and I'll show you guys the finishing touches let's get it all right, y'all, so that's it right there. Before it goes on to the stove, onion and bell pepper, the chicken, and those are the condiments. Kroger peanut sauce, the Lee Kum Ki hoisin sauce, and the P.F. Chang's Kum Pao, with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of Garlic salt, some mustard, a little bit of soy sauce, and some sugar, man. You guys will see right now how it comes out when we're done. One more thing before I forget, as for the rice that I like to use and that my kids like, you can find this one at any food for less. It's in the rice section. There's different kinds. They're like four or five different kinds, but my kids, they love this one. The Thai jasmine rice. And I ain't gonna lie, it's fire. When it comes to steamed rice, like any white rice for Chinese food and stuff like that, 
If you don't have the rice maker, this is the next best thing closest to it. You throw it in the microwave. It says two minutes. I throw it for three minutes. And it comes out fire. You guys will see right now at the end. Before I start the grill process. I mean the stove process. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Let's get it. Alright y'all. So now we're on the grill. I mean on the stove. <laughs> Keep saying grill. I'm going to just throw in a little bit more. That's good right there because it's going to get mixed up. A little bit more hoisin. A little more soy sauce. And then at the end, a little more sugar. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to keep on doing it. I would hold the phone, but I'm by myself, so I can't do that. I need to get back to cooking before it burns. Okay. So I'm back. Got to drink a little bit of <sighs> Got to hydrate. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was hot in front of that stove. No pep. Now for my favorite part, test part. Look at that. Let's see, see a little bit of onion and bell pepper, some chicken, a little bit of rice. Cheers. Guarantee it. Get these items, these condiments, try it out for yourself. I guarantee you, man. Fire. Fire. You're going to be stuck on it for at least a few days. I guarantee you. I'm telling you, we eat this at least like twice a week. Probably one, once a week, if, you know, we get tired of it. But lately, it's been on there like two, three times a week. I'm not even going to cut. Right now, appreciate y'all. Unity, prosperity, and respect. Above all, it's your boy Santo G. Let's get it, man. This was today. Pretty much showing you guys how to make rice bowls. If you're new here, give me that like. Give me that subscribe. Check out some of my old videos, man. Boy over here is sweating. I broke a sweat for you guys, so that's the least y'all can do, man. You Bam. That's the finished rice bowl right there. Now tell me that don't look fire. You gonna tell me that you don't wanna try that? The fuck outta here. Like they